Now, this is our first glimpse into the South African justice system, and we're used to American movies where there's a big <laughs> argument or a summary and banging on a table, and we didn't really see any of this. Well, I think in the American movies isn't quite what happens in the American court, but I think there's, there's uh, more is allowed that, that lawyers are al allowed to walk around the court. In South Africa and, and in the United Kingdom, uh, more traditional, you stand at the podium, you can't get up and, and walk across to the witness and stare the witness in the eye and say, you're lying. Um, so, you know, it's, it's more formal in that regard. Also, one mustn't forget, you know, the American system isn't quite portrayed as it is uh, in, as it actually happens. Uh, it, you know, it's portrayed in the movies with the necessary drama and, 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 and all the rest. Um, so it is different there that they can move around more, but um, you know it doesn't quite happen as uh, <laughs> as it comes across in in, in some of the the movies. It's not quite as dramatic. It you know it can be also very mundane and boring, and uh, evidence is presented and cross examination takes a long time. It's not like one question is asked of a witness and suddenly the witness capitulates and admits that he's committed the crime. For example, that we often see in. Uh, in, in, in the movies. Will Harry Null and Barry Ruby given an opportunity to summarize their, their cases? Yes, at the end. Um, although the defense can bring an application for the discharge of an accused um, after the state case, but that's not happening here, then at the end of all the evidence, both uh, the state prosecutor and the defense will be able to, uh, to present argument to the court dealing with the evidence, dealing with contradictions, making submissions on the evidence, the reliability of the witnesses, as well as the legal aspect. You know, did he act in self-defense or didn't he? Was he entitled to do as he did, um, believing that there was an intruder? You know, could he shoot four times through the door into a small space? And th th those will be the legal arguments. Can you actually do that? or uh, would he have exceeded the bounds of what he was legally entitled to do. So that is done at the end of the whole case. State has closed its case now. Defense will present evidence, call Oscar and other witnesses, or recall some of these state witnesses, and then close its case, and then there will be legal argument. And from there on, the judge will make a ruling, and maybe not immediately. I mean, I believe because of all this evidence and the high-profile case it is and the media attention, the judge is probably going to say I, that she needs some time uh, before she delivers her, her verdict. And I'm sure that the state and the defense, at the end of the, all the evidence, will also ask for an opportunity to consider the evidence and make uh, the necessary submissions to the court.